During the N64's heyday, you weren't making video games unless you had a 3D platformer. So Hudson brought their AAA multiplayer top-down king, Bomberman, into the 3D platformer realm. So basically, Bomberman was being inserted into a genre that he'd never known before. Fortunately, this was a great debut for him. This is Bomberman Hero, and we're going to play this game how it was never intended. Will it do well? Or will it break under the pressure of ultra widescreen? So first things first, let's get our settings correct. Click on Options, and then on to Settings. We're going to want to uncheck Hide Advanced Settings, then click OK. Next, click on Options again, and then click Configure Graphics Plugin. Under Full Screen Resolution, pick an ultra wide resolution. Then, make sure to uncheck Hide Advanced Settings. Next, click on the Advanced tab. Make sure the box next to Adjust Game Aspect Ratio to match yours is checked. Then click OK. Now, we're ready to play Barman Hero. Menus work flawlessly. They are centered on the original 4x3 aspect ratio. Nothing is stretched and everything is readable. At times when there are 3D elements on screen, they may go into the void on the left and right sides. Cutscenes are a mixed bag. Since scenes are rendered in-game, field of view extends just fine and dialogue boxes are centered correctly. Unfortunately, the background is a 2D image and is centered, so you can get garbage on the sides of the screen. This is worse in some scenes than others. Your mileage may vary. Here's an example of a bad cutscene. As you can see, there's nothing but corruption on the sides. It's almost comical. It's extremely distracting. Now on the other side, we have this cutscene here. Since the whole area is 3D rendered, you don't have any garbage and you can just enjoy the admittedly boring cutscene. <laughs> So on many levels, you'll have the skybox just be a 2D texture in the background. And with that, we have similar issues that we have with the cutscenes, where you'll just get garbage on the left and right sides of the screen. This is as bad as it gets though, in gameplay. I'd still say it's useful to play in 21x9 because you can see enemies spawn in where you normally wouldn't be able to. These issues actually come from a technique called culling. What it does is it subtracts 3D geometry that normally wouldn't be able to be seen. Since we're using a hack to increase the field of view past what it normally would be, we're getting all these side effects. So it's not all bad. You have levels where you're mostly surrounded by 3D objects and therefore you don't get any of the culling issues that we had before. No artifacting, no garbage, it's great. I'd say about 50% of the levels are like this and 50% of the levels are the not so good ones. Boss areas are small. They're on very small platforms, so they have the same issues that any stage that uses the skybox has. I would say that boss stages are mostly playable, but the garbage on the side might be distracting. Thank you. 
I can personally play through the entire game with these instances of garbage on the sides. It's not present through every level, and on most levels, it's not that bad. Plus, you can actually see some enemies before you're supposed to, so that's another advantage. But I could see how, to some players, that it would be way too distracting. For those who cannot deal, I think you should still play Barman Hero, even if it's in 4x3. Oh, hold on, hold on. There may be another solution here. The guys over at Assembler Games have been using GameShark codes to enable widescreen. This even works on real hardware. Unfortunately, it's a solution for 16x9 only, but let's take a look. So instead of using Project 64's built-in field of view adjustments, we're going to set it manually. Load up Bomberman Hero. Then go to System. Then to Cheats. Click on the arrow to expand the menu. Click on New Cheat. In the Name field, type Widescreen Hack. Type in the following on the screen. Then, click Add New Cheat. On the left side of the menu, Make sure the box is checked next to widescreen hack. Then close out the menu. Next, click on system. Then on reset. Then on to hard reset. Next, we're going to turn off the field of view adjustments that Project 64 does. Go to options. Click on configure graphics plugin. Under windowed resolution and full screen resolution, make sure it's a 16 by nine resolution. Click on the Advanced tab. Make sure the box next to Adjust Game Aspect Ratio to match yours is unchecked. Lastly, click OK and then you should be good to go. Using this method, most 2D elements are now stretched to 16 by 9, including backgrounds. So you won't see artifacts in the void, but you will see geometry loading in. Culling has not been fixed with this method. Field of Vision has been increased. It looks good and I can recommend playing this over 4x3. Whichever method you choose to play Bomberman Hero, I hope you find it enjoyable. Did you like this widescreen feature? I'm trying to get one out each week. If my content pleases you, please share it around. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell. Comment on other games you would like to see me dissect. And I hope to see you around.